things that allow you to truly enjoy who you are in that moment. We saw quite a few birds, ducks and swans. I love swans because they're so graceful and beautiful and they just glide across the water without a care in the world. Then we went to Hyde Park and we watched dogs and people. Did a few sketches, looked at the grass. Which one? The white one. Oh, the white. Columns, like Victorian Olive next door. Style. <laughs> like Did a lot of walking around. We ride. Did he say hi? <laughs> What if the unicorn and the lion are Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's a, uh, so definitely people. here a lot, oh, though. Maybe? The unicorn and the lion. He's gorgeous. My Taurus self admiring the grass, of course. It was the weekend before the Queen's Jubilee, so there was a lot of uh, national pride going on. More dogs. Shit. Mm, future wedding dress. Oh, and then we walked around this beautiful part of town. It was like, oh, so gorgeous. Wow. This is the view out of my hostel window. And this is the view from the front of my hostel. I was waiting for my friend. And then we did a bunch of thrift shopping, walking, and eating, and gossiping. British writer called Alan Bennett, who's like a very... Uh, I need to... And then I was on my own again. Look at all these beautiful people. I love London. Me and Savannah watched a little pickup soccer game. English mustard. <laughs> Let me get brunch. Good. I know. Oh, you want to 
gonna go in there. Oh. Got this tree. Chocolate twist. Mm. Got the twisty croissant. And then Anna arrived. She wanted a cupcake. Yeah. That's so nice. Oh, Got some green juice. Okay. <laughs> Walked through this tunnel, which was so cool. This is so cool. Oh. <laughs> So good to have friends again. Now we got Nando's. Nothing better than sitting in the park on a warm spring day with your friends, listening to music, Nothing better. Oh, and touching the grass excessively. Park yoga. Yes. You always have to stretch it out, especially when you're traveling. It's so nice to just sit down in the sun and just. Stretch out your tired muscles from walking all day. It's just a nice time to relax and unwind. And to play. We went back to the same cafe because it was so good. bathroom and I had a little dance party by myself. You just, you gotta get the juices flowing sometimes, you know? You get very stiff at museums. Sometimes you need to dance it out. <laughs>
people watching at museums is perhaps even better than the art sometimes. And there were these big ass columns that they had to chop into two just to fit them in. Is yours working? Mm. spent 20 minutes smelling roses because they, they smell really good in case you didn't know. This is the Natural History Museum. And it was filled to the brim with kids, so we went outside. They're just mice. Not a big deal. Bit of a big deal. A little deal. A little they deal. ate my granola bar. Yeah. That's why they said no snacks. We should go shopping. We should go shopping. 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 We should go shopping. Shopping. Um, had our coffee in the park the next morning. city is just sitting in the local parks and hanging out, <laughs> taking in the uh, fresh air. St. Paul's Church. this on our last night we went to a little karaoke bar and Anna and I performed a rendition of Amy Winehouse's Valerie okay we made it to the underground is it a magic portal is it a phone booth And then it was time to go. 
my last morning in London. I left at like 6 a.m. Hopped on the tube, rode it all the way to the airport. And then it was just a 10 hour flight home. And then I made it back. So yeah, I'm back in the US now been back for a while actually I've been back for like a month and a half and I'm happy to be back <laughs>